Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? So there are three measures of average. First one is the mode, second one is the median, and the third one is the mean. The mode is the one which occurs most frequently, so very easy to figure out the mode, but not very mathematical, so we don't tend to use it a lot. The median is the middle one in an ordered list, um, so a lot more useful because it is identifying um, the middle of the data, so that's what you'd expect of an average. And then the last one is called the arithmetic mean, and it's sometimes also referred to as the weighted average. Now the reason it's referred to as the weighted average is this. Imagine you've got a workplace, and in that workplace there are um, five staff, and they all earn 20,000. There are also uh, three managers, and they earn 33,000. And of course there's the boss, um, and he earns a whopping 160,000. If we were working out the median of this data, we'd be looking for the middle one. So we'd be crossing out from each end until we get to the middle one, which I think is this one here. So that would be the median. But if we wanted to work out the mean, what we'd be doing is we'd be adding them all up and dividing by how many there are. So add them all up and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when you do that, you get an answer of £40,000. The weighted average is very different from the median because this one large number has a large weight on the data, on the um, average. So that's why it's called a weighted average. Each value is not just taken into account as being a value, but also if it's a very big value, it can affect the data a lot. So that's what we mean by um, weighted average. And this would be a good example where it would be better to use the median rather than the mean because you've got an extreme value in that data.